welcome you all to today's video. I am Dr. Seema Kale, Senior Consultant Physician, Delhi, India. We have been going through the course book teaching of electrocardiogram for quite some time now. And uh, we, I am going like stepwise. But I have decided in between, if I come across some interesting ECG or some interesting case, I will be showing you that too. So that will make us understand uh, our ECGs very clearly why we are studying the topic. Um, uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel so far, please do that and if you like press on like button and press on bell icon for all so that you will get notifications uh, for all future updates. Thank you in advance. So today, uh, we see last time, uh, some time back, we discussed uh, the placement of electrodes while doing uh, electrocardiography. So I told you regarding chest leads that we keep V1 on the right side, fourth intercostal space, then V2, then V3 will be obliquely in between V2 and V4 on the left side. And many times we see that V3 uh, people keep exactly uh, down below V2. So uh, uh, now I show you what happens uh, by putting that V3 lead exactly below V2 or somewhat misplacement of the lead can cause a big issue and the see the problem is bigger you know but actual problem is nothing it's just a misplaced lead but it can create such a havoc in the minds of people so this is one case who had come for a treadmill test examination now you can see here, kindly show this ECG number 1. Now this patient had a little chronic bronchitis. Patient was lean and thin and very slender chest. You can see in the chest leads V1, V2 and V3. Then V4, V5 and V6. Now the R wave uh, progression is very poor in V1, V2 and V3. You can see there is practically no R wave progressing here. And then in V4 there is suddenly a transition zone. So because there is a tall R wave. So transition zone is shifted to the right. Now this can be interpreted as old anterior wall myocardial infarction. All right, because there is very poor progression. When, what, when we define poor progression of R wave, the R wave in V3 is very small, is less than 3 millimeter. That is the diagnostic criteria of poor R wave progression. Which, now this case can be because of bronchitis, but like it can be interpreted as old anterior ball myocardial infarction. I happened to see the chest lead V3 was directly below V2. So we corrected the chest lead placement and now you can see V1, V2 but then V3 you get a nice R wave. Okay. V1, V2 small R wave is acceptable in a case of chronic bronchitis. But V3 now there is a good R wave. So this patient in the first case would have gone as anterior myocardial infarction and uh, just by correcting the leads this doubt was washed off and cleared well in time. Okay, otherwise that would have been a problem uh, because this patient was for insurance. His insurance might have been rejected. So all these things have to be kept in mind and we have to take ECG very seriously. ECG is a serious business. I always tell people that take life very lightly and there is no problem. 
okay you don't stress yourself but take health very seriously similarly when you do when you study take your subject very seriously but life very easily mind you guys so jai hind jai bharat see you next time